it's Benaniac here and I'm in the kitchen again with another fantastic product and recipe. Vegan waffles today, I'll show you guys how to make them. No oil, no salt, here we go. So here's the waffle maker that I use. It's called the Cuisine Art Belgian Waffle Maker with pancake plates. So opening it up here, you can see it makes four small waffles and it does have a button on the side here which you can take the actual plates off. It makes it a lot easier for washing which you can see I've taken a bit for granted and you can also swap them out for pancake plates so it gives you a lot of room for adjustment and variety unlike other waffle makers which the plates don't come off and you can't really wash them as easily so here's what I'll be using for the waffle mix I have an organic oat bran pancake and waffle mix here by Arrowhead Mills and all it has in it is organic whole grain wheat flour, organic oat bran, organic soy milk powder, organic wheat bran, and baking powder. And that's it. This is one of the best waffle mixes on the market. It's oil free, salt free unlike the rest of them. And just a quick convenient way to make the waffles if you don't want to throw in a bunch of different flours and stuff. But I will be making more homemade style recipes soon so stay tuned for those. I have the West Soy Organic Unsweetened Soy Milk and this is great because all it has is filtered water and organic soybeans. That's all we need from it. One of the best soy milks out there as well. Organic coconut palm sugar, organic pure cane sugar, obviously these are optional but I'll be using those to sweeten up the waffles and I'll be using two ripe organic bananas as an egg substitute and you want them spotty that's how you can tell if bananas are ripe. So here's a quick shot of the recipe at the back of the package and I'll be making two servings of these just because it's more convenient for me to have it in the fridge and be able to make them whenever I want rather than making a serving each time. So think ahead and be smart. So just a quick warning here if you're using the Vitamix to mix up the waffle mix it can be a little bit tough trying to get the mix out of there with the bottom with the blades and everything. So we do have this other mixer here that's a bit more flat and this is actually removable. So if you do have another type of mixer around that doesn't have the blades there at the bottom for the flour and, and the mix to get stuck in probably go with that. But, um, you know, Vitamix will work just fine. You just have to work a little bit harder. I'll put two cups total in there. So we have our two cups of flour here. Now it's time to put in the two eggs. It's like we're all Bananiacs here, so we'll be using these bananas. Put them in here. Okay, so now I'm going to put in about two cups of this soy milk in there. And if you want them thicker, put a little bit less, but I think two cups will do just fine. Milk's in, time to put in the sugar. We're gonna put about two tablespoons of each, and this is obviously optional, so if you don't want the sugar, obviously omit it. All right, so the mix is all blended up. Let this sit for about a minute or so, but while we're waiting, we can go ahead and plug in the waffle maker and start preheating it. And I usually like to put it around the four setting, but um, if you want it darker, put it at a higher setting, lighter at a lower setting. Okay, so the light is green, meaning it's ready. Open it up, put in the batter. Just use a plastic utensil to spread the mix around so you don't scratch the plate. So that's about full. Now we close it. And we wait for the magic to happen. We got the green light again. Open it up slowly so the steam doesn't Burn your hand. There we go. Those look pretty good. Got my little nonstick helper here. And so just go around the edges and try to slowly lift it out and try to get the parts where it might be a little bit sticky on there. So what I'll do is I'll just grab it underneath. Got my plate up close. There we go. So now it's time to put the rest of the batter away and eat some waffles. So here we go, vegan waffles, another great food to have around on a high carb, low fat vegan diet. I'm going to top it off with some whole foods, organic, 100% pure maple syrup. And you can also have this with a little bit of peanut butter and jelly on top, or just sprinkle a little bit more sugar, or, you know, customize it to yourself. Just keep it low fat, keep it high carb. and. Um, you know, why not enjoy foods like this that keep you healthy and at the same time, you know, give you that bit of pleasure you need once in a while. So, 
there you go vegan waffles let me know what sort of recipe you guys want to see in the comment section down below or if you make waffles or pancakes what are some of your favorite vegan waffle or pancake recipes post those down below as well and I'll be posting more of these types of recipes soon so let me know what you guys want give this video a like share it around subscribe if you haven't already for more tips on the vegan lifestyle so go make some waffles now top this off with some nice maple syrup yummy that looks good